Hello everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Esther here for Elizabeth Craft Designs. So good to see you. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hi everyone. Hi Natasha, Margaret, Sonia, Renate, Michelle, Sylvia. Hello, hello everyone. Hello from Holland. Let me see if the camera is okay. If you can, if you guys can see me, I think we're good. Hi Nancy. Hi Linda. Wilma. Alice. Jennifer. Good to see you all. Hi Hans. Hi Barbara. Welcome to. Hi Shaukje. Hi Daatje. Ook leuk dat je er bent. Hi Belinda. Welcome. Well, I see a lot of people tuning in already. Um, over here it's 8 p.m. It's getting dark. Um, and it depends on all where you are. Because um, a lot of you are watching probably from the US, from the UK. So it's a little bit uh, different time-wise. Somewhere around noon probably. Hi Lisanne. Hi Carla. Sue. Suzanne. <laughs> ah, thanks so much Nancy. Did you already see something? <laughs> thank you Hans, thank you, thank you <coughs> I'm sorry again that you are not able to see me Hi Debbie, good to see you uh, You're not able to see me because I don't know how to do that uh, on Facebook uh, David uh, told me how to do it on YouTube Lives To see my screen and, uh, no sorry, my desktop And you can see me But I don't know how to fix that with Facebook. I tried it this afternoon but I couldn't figure it out so uh, you have to do it with my hands again <laughs> and I am going to show you um, the beautiful new products. Hi Michelle, hi Angelique, Rotterdam calling, <laughs> good to see you. Hi Marjolein, Tracy, uh, there are so many of you I can't call out or I can't mention all your names I'm sorry for that. Oh, thanks Michelle, thank you. Hi Claire, good to see you too. Marloes, hey Marloes, how are you? Ah, you checked all the photos on Marloes' site. Okay, I understand Nancy. Hi Joseph, good to see you. Good to see you too, of course. Hi Yolanda, Ellie. Okay, um, well, welcome everyone. Um, I'm very excited, of course, to show you the new collection. And I now notice also that it's a little bit shiny because of the packaging, but uh, I think we're good. Um, the new collection, it's called For The Record and it is, uh, it has, sorry, it has two stamp sets and six die sets. And I am going to walk you through them uh, today. Uh, thanks so much, Claudia. Uh, and I'm going to show you some samples I already made with the, the sets. Uh, tell you a little bit more about them. It's not a really complicated um, release this time. No, hi Anna, hi Yona, <laughs> hi hi. Um, there are no uh, complicated uh, things you have to do for uh, assembling and things like that. So, hi Annette, hi Anneke. Oh, leuk dat je er ook bent. Oh, a lot of you. Oh, it's so funny. I wish I could all you, uh, see you for real. Hi Marie Claire, hi Honora, hi hi. <laughs> okay, uh, where shall I start with? Yes, okay, I'm going to tell you first. Um, this is not a set uh, or a release or a collection, uh, especially, especially for the sidekick or uh, for the full size planner. There's only one page and this is the one you can see over here, which goes into the full size planner. This is the large planner. And all the other elements, all the other sets you can use in both uh, our planners. So, um, yeah. And I'm going to start with this one first. And I will uh, pick uh, the stamps with that later on. Uh, as you can see, this is the first set I made. And it's a full page. And it has those three um, tabs in it. Do you call it slits? Slots? slits <laughs> I don't know uh, you can slide things in so it cuts uh, the tap three times on a page and then you can slide things in uh, it has three leaves just because it's uh, almost autumn 
did autumn already start no i don't think so uh so it, i thought it might be fun to use some uh, pretty leaves too and here you can see uh, what it looks like when you have been die cutting it so here you have the three slots <laughs> i think <laughs> it's called and um here you can slide in all kinds of bits and pieces uh, if you want to put in pictures oh <laughs> did you see what happened my glue uh, didn't glue very well at the bottom here so okay we're good again uh, for pictures but also for these cards these cards come in one of the sets i'm going to show them to you later slot page ah that's what it's called hi marga good to see you too hi karen hi linda so, <clears throat> sorry, this is the base page and here you have those three leaves. I die cut a few of those too. Uh, I don't know the names in English, but I am just calling them leaves. I think this is a maple or oak and I have no idea for the other ones. Uh, maybe it's better to show them here. So you can see the shapes and the size. Oh, well, this is the same one. Here's another one. There, there are three different ones and I cut this one in half so I can use this maybe uh, tucked behind the photo or at the side of a page. So you can mix and match all those leaves and make pretty things. <laughs> so that's page number one. Um, all the other elements I'm going to show you a little bit later when it's their turn. Okay. Um, yeah, well, there's not much to tell about. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, when you want to use this page, you have to glue it down on another page um, before I forget. So you see over here, I used um, Planner Essentials, I think it's four with the full size page. And then you glue this one on top of the other page. So don't forget it. Um, and also uh, make sure you don't glue the whole page down so th that way you can't tuck anything in it anymore so you only have to glue the sides the borders and maybe a little bit glue here but not uh, underneath those slots that has to be open for you to slide in your uh, cards or pictures or whatever you want um okay that's for this set <coughs> i'm putting this aside and then I am moving on to the next one. The next one is called, um, um, what did we call it? Oh yeah, the general file folder set. This is set number one. It has two file folders, a large one and a, sl a smaller one. Um, some labels, words, and uh, a set of numbers. And this is a really cool size to use uh, for all kinds of um, elements. Um, the important thing, well, it's not really important, but I want to tell you that the large one uh, fits a full-size planner and the smaller one fits um, the sidekick, of course. And I made a few samples to show you. So this one is the journal, um, the, the larger one, and the inside it's the smaller one. Wait, I'm going to put these aside too, otherwise it's getting a little bit confused confusing maybe also for me <laughs> one moment okay so now i'm talking about this set <clears throat> and i'm sorry if i can't um see all your comments because i have to talk a lot and talking and reading <laughs> is going to be a bit hard for me so apologize if i'm not replying to your comments but um i try to do my best okay again uh a large file folder and a smaller one of course you can uh, use them together but this one fits uh, on a full-size page too so if you want you can glue it into your full-size journal and make an extra um, fold out or an extra flip tap whatever you want to call it um, and this label which you see over here let me see this is the one i used here and for this i glued it down but it's a label you fold it and then uh, glue it down on whatever you want to glue it down to so let's say it's on the cover of your journal or a book or on a page um, but if you don't glue it down then you can slide it in and out if you want but i glued it down because uh, i was afraid it might get lost um this um 
how do you call this sign? Apostrophe, it's in Dutch, but I don't know in English. <laughs> oh, Michelle, I'm, I'm lucky to see you. I'm not the only one. <laughs> Hi, Rick, how are you doing? Good to see you're here. Um, yes, yeah, so they fit different planners. Um, I'm not sure how to call this thing in English, so sorry for that. Um, but it's also in one of the other sets. And yeah, you can mix and match them all together. Larger, smaller ones. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about those uh, later on. Oh yeah, we also have some little uh, cute tabs extra. I added those and a little arrow just uh, for decorative uh, purposes, decorative elements. Um, yeah. So this is set number, uh, general file folder set one. So I'm going to leave this here because it looks so nice when it's all together here. So, and then putting away the packaging. So here comes um, set number two, also with a file folder. And the difference with the first one, I hope you can see it, it, it has the tab on a different position. So here it's in the middle and here it's on the left or the right, if you are uh, turning it um, upside down, you know? So one has the tabs on the middle part and the other one uh, on the left or the right. It depends on how you, um, use the file folder, which way you fold it. <coughs> and percent, yes, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hey, Stur Stempelot, so good to see you're here too. Nice to see you. Uh, are the numbers different from the class set? Which class set are you talking about, Femke? Um, okay, then for the label, it's the same, the label you saw in the other set, it's this one. But the, the extra uh, borders you see over here uh, do fit this uh, label too. So you can mix and match uh, both sets. So as you can see over here, this is the same base. That's this one. And I added an extra border with a little hearts, which is in here. So here it is a border with hearts, flowers. This is a plain one and this has two uh, balloons. And then you can add for some extra di dimension, you can add the little heart uh, extra and one over here. And I will wait to see <laughs> um, if you can see it in front of the camera. So I'm going to put it a little bit closer for you to see. Uh, Annette's class, oh my, uh, I have to look it up. Oh, hold on one minute. I have got a next class here. No, those are different. Let me see. Let me check. No, they're a little bit different from a next class. Um, okay, yes. So this was about the labels. You can mix and match the two sets together. Um, so that way you see like this, you have a tap on the left or the right if you turn it around this way. And this one always stays in the middle. So I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, so that was one more. Uh, leaving those here. Oh, and also some extra, an extra uh, tab over here. Here's another tab and a little uh, bunt bunting, a little, um, no, I think it's called bunting. Um, okay, that's this set. And I'm going to put this one aside too. Um, then you have those um, file folders. Um, and I think it's also really cool with a file folder to add uh, a library pocket. So um, I had a lot of requests for library pockets um, anyway. So and I wanted to do one myself for sure. So here it is, a library pocket. But you can do uh, oh, a banner, a bunting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you can make two versions uh, with the um, the library pocket set. <coughs> First, you can see it. I, I already glued it down. Oh, oops, <laughs> this falls out on one of the file folders, the larger one. And here I glued down the larger, uh, sorry, <laughs> the plain uh, library pocket. And over here you can see I added while die cutting it this part. So when you die cut the large file um, library pocket and you put this one. Um, in immediately when you're die cutting it then it gives you a window over here um, for this one I 
put some acetate behind so you can see it's really a pocket with a window and again you can slide those cards in uh, in the pocket too so uh, you can make two uh, versions one with a window and one without a window then also in this set is another part piece here and this one is uh, just imagine that is uh, it is an um, a box where you can put file folders in so this is a little box as you can see here if you see a box from the front and then you can put those little file folders in the box so that's what this piece is and here is the extra file folder the mini one so that's this one and this is the file folder uh, the box and this is a decorative element just in case you only want to use um, the library pocket without a file folder or just as a decorative element it's this corner it also has the word lucky so you can glue that down anywhere you want um, so it makes it a very versatile set so um, I hope you like it just as much as I do <laughs> okay now I need to drink something and I am going to try to read some of your comments oh gosh you are really with a lot of people out there how cool is that Hi everyone, just in case I missed you coming in, joining us. Uh, yes, Debbie, you can. <laughs> or an Advent project, yes, yes, yes. Dice are so cool. I'm trying to browse uh, through a few of your comments. Uh, Tracy, thank you. Yes, I, ought to try, I always try to um, yeah, think about how uh, if there are any other ways how you can use them but when I do that and then I'm thinking okay uh, this is for that and you can do this with that and then I see many of you doing completely other things which I think oh my gosh why didn't I think of that so um, it's always fun to see that oh thank you Simone yeah how do I make this up I don't know it just happens <laughs> okay I need to drink something one moment please Oh, Claire, thank you. Nancy, thank you. <coughs> Lisa. <laughs> okay. Um, phew, I'm doing a lot of talking. Um, yeah, so this was the library uh, pocket uh, set. And again, you have some samples of the, um, the things you see over here on the back of the packaging. So uh, just for your inspiration. And over here, yes, now comes the fun part. Well, it's all fun. This is a set, and this set has four um, library pocket cards. Well, it's a mouthful, library pocket cards. There are four different ones, uh, two with a tab on the top, and I've got two with a tab on the side. And again, if you uh, turn them around, you can um, change the direction if you want. Uh, I made some quite uh, bulky uh, things, elements, uh, to fill those up and that really looks cool when you are adding it to the library filler cards now library pocket cards <laughs> or just uh, in some other places in your planner or in cards or whatever you want to use it so this is a big arrow the m percent again a question mark and a music uh, note i don't know a, m a music note <laughs> So, um, I'm going to show you what you can do with those. Um, here, now I need to move this a little bit to the side so I can show it to you a little bit better. Okay, there are four cards in the set. And I did make four and now I can't find them. Where are they? Ah, okay, here. Let me see. Here you go. I've got two with a tap on the top and you can see one tap in the middle and the other one on the side and these two have a tap on the side but also in a different position then with these cards of course you can use them as they are like this uh, and glue down uh, embellishments pictures or whatever you want Yes, 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 Nancy, you can use everything for the sidekick besides one page. So 
everything goes in the sidekick. Um, oh, I'm getting messages in between. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was a little bit dis, uh, distracted. If you die cut them, yeah, you can always die cut them uh, without tips. But you cannot, if you don't want a tip, you can also trim it off. Take a scissors and cut it off. Okay, with those, uh, we have stamps. So you can add stamps to the cards if you want. And therefore, we have two stamp sets. Um, both have one of the stamps who fits uh, the one with the tab on the top or one with a tab on the side because they are different. And you know why they are different? Because I also uh, wanted them to fit the pocket pages. So here you can see the pocket pages from the full size planner. And um, oh, <laughs> distraction again, sorry guys. Um, that's why I needed to make them in different sizes because of the tab. As you can see over here, the tab is on the side, which uh, didn't allow me to make the card any bigger because otherwise there wouldn't be any space for the tab. And same here, I needed some extra space on the top. So with the stamps, there are four different ones. And then before you go stamping, you can see this one doesn't fit on this card. So that means that it has to go uh, on the card with the tab on the side. And this one is a little bit wider. So this one can go here. This one is a wider one for that card. And this is a little bit smaller. So um, I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> um, but this had all to do with me wanting them to fit in the, the pocket pages too. So, um, yeah, make sure if you want to use it into, into the pocket pages that you use the right stamp with the right card. So that's all I wanted to tell you about these. Um, of course, if you don't want to use extra cards, as I did over here, um, you can also stamp directly on the cards. But that's all up to you. I stamped on an, a different piece of paper and then cut it out with a pair of scissors and then glue it down because I think that looks a little bit more um, it's a little bit more dimension to your cards when using an extra layer uh, in the stamp sets also come uh, a box of crayons and I, this afternoon I was coloring for the first time with the new um, Tim Holtz um, what are they called these things watercolor pencils so it's the first time I use them uh, just for giving it a try you can use uh, this uh, well you can use it with watercolors or whatever you like and with the crayon stamp where is it over here uh, there's a little extra stamp which has the word crayons and you can uh, glue that down over here if you want uh, if you want to color the, the crayons itself you can do that but also you can do this if you like and I did one in red already, so you see it looks a little bit different without or with the label. So that's one over here. We also have some extra, an extra pencil, which is a single one. That's this one. You can color that one too. Then there's an ink bottle. That one. Oh, tickets. We also have tickets, of course. I, I stamped those and trimmed them out, uh, uh, cut them out with a pair of scissors, but it's also cool if you use those scissors uh, which has a decal edge, or maybe a trimmer which ha with uh, a decal edge, deckled edge, sorry, <laughs> uh, distress them a little bit to give them that vintage look. Uh, and some smaller elements uh, just uh, for you to make little decorative elements in your planner. Um, and also as a request for Marie Claire because she loves those little tiny stamps um, to use in her work. So this is the one with the crayons and this one has an ink bottle. That's this one. I didn't have time to color it this afternoon. So there's an ink bottle, uh, another ticket like, like, like a ticket stamp. This cool quote, today's forecast is crafting with no chance of house cleaning or cooking. Well. I think I'm going to use that one a lot, <laughs> to be honest. Um, there's a little one which says filed, a little stamp, uh, a brush, 
of course, because you can use a brush with an ink bottle. It's here, or you can do something like this. I added two together. So it's just to give you some, uh, some ideas. Um, oh, and here's another uh, uh, crafting quote saying, uh, having an artistic blast, 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 blast. I think it's blast. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, stamp set number two. Oh, here's one of the ampersands I cut out. And the question mark I also had, let me see. There's so many elements and you can all mix and match them. Here's one of the brushes uh, added to the cards. This one you already saw with the music thingy. Oh yeah, and this is the arrow. You see the large arrow, it's really nice uh, when you do something like this. You see, you can put it on the side of a picture or on a page and you can change uh, the inner and the outer part. So it, when you cut it in white cardstock first and then black and you can change um, the black and the, and the white so it looks completely different. So you can do something like this or if you want to do it like that. It's all up to you. So all those different elements. Um, yeah, that was it. I'm going to look for your comments. And uh, let me see. Turn, oh, I think I'm very much behind. One moment. <laughs> uh, I'm going to check the last comments. House cleaning? <laughs> what are those? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's all dust over here. Tracing wheel, awesome. Thank you, Teresa. Thanks, Nancy. Hi, Jean, Jean, Jane, Jean from Florida. Good to see you. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Hi, Laurie. Ink spilling out. Yes, we can do that. That's not so hard. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nancy, for like for sharing. Roberta is going to do a pre-order. The paper plane. Yes, of course, the paper plane here. How could I forget, Marie Claire? It's here. <laughs> it's so cute, a paper plane. I saw Anita also have been using it already. It's really fun. Okay. Uh, no, I'm no, I'm going to leave it here because I think it looks so cool. But uh, the last set I want to show you, and I think, well, can I have a favorite? Well, I think they're all my favorite, but this one is so much fun to work with. It are, it's a full set with uh, alphabet and then on tabs, on really tiny tabs. Uh, I'm going to show it a little bit closer to the camera. Hold it there for a few seconds so you can see what it looks like when it's a little bit closer to the camera. Oh, thanks Tracy again. <laughs> yeah, you can layer them up to make them thicker. Hey, Remy, good to see you too. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Angelique, welcome, welcome. Yeah, uh, no, I'm not ready. This one, Renata, you mean? <laughs> oh, thank you, Marianne. Okay, the letters. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about them. The letter tabs. <laughs> okay, uh, no, I need to put this aside because otherwise I can't show it to you properly. Hold on. Um, no, I need to put it aside for a while. Oh, it all looks so fun when you use it together. I think I can make things like this all day. And you see, if you use the paper from the reminiscence book, uh, you don't need a lot of extra uh, stuff to add. Um, and, and it makes, it, it looks nice already. Okay, by the way, um, I am also working on another project which isn't completely finished yet. And I am going to show that to you on Friday because Friday, I am going to do a live and then we are in the hotel in Spijkenisse, it's a Dutch city, where we are going to have a, a planner weekend, a planner retreat. So um, almost the full design team of Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, Holland will be there and I am going to do the live from the hotel. Uh, and it won't be a demo just like we are always doing because I don't think that's possible because we are setting up uh, everything for uh, Saturday. So um, 
yes I will be fr live on Friday again and you can probably see uh, all the other ladies and guy natuurlijk of course sorry from the design team uh, and maybe I can introduce all of them to you um, and for sure David is going to uh, uh, join me in the live and if I can find the other girls when we are there um, I am going to show them to you too and I will show you the project I'm working on with this release it's not completely finished um, but I will make sure it's done by Friday so I can show it to you so um, hopefully you will be joining me on Friday too okay the letters Ta -da 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 -da. here we go it's a full alphabet and uh, I made them on tabs and the idea from this came from a vintage um, book I saw where was it from yeah I think it was a vintage book or a vintage file folder I found somewhere and it had those little uh, tiny tabs on the side and I was thinking oh how cool would that be with uh, the alphabet so that's how this one um, yeah came to my mind <laughs> yes you all can be uh, Oh, a retreat in Finland. Yes, yes. How cool is that? Can we come to Finland? That would be fun. <laughs> okay, so how do these work? Well, it's quite simple, quite easy, but I will take them out. Um, the most effect you will get when you use two different colors. I die cut some from, um, this is Manila cardstock. And as you can see, they're all plain manila colored um, elements and what happened here oh these are the yeah I wanted to tell you um, here are some solid ones and you can uh, use those to put behind the letters of the alphabet there are also numbers by the way so here are some solid ones <laughs> Debbie oh maybe we can beam you over be just like uh, what was the, the the series called? Beam me over, Scotty. Star Trek? No. What is it? Beam me over. <laughs> Beam me over, Scotty. From which movie is that? I'm sure one of you will know. Outside the front, a spider. Oh, oh! Now you're talking about spiders. I have to tell you. This morning I was watching uh, on Instagram. And then I saw a little uh, movie, how, how do you call it, real, a reel, yes. And there was a, a mother with her son and they were poking with a stick underneath, um, how do you call it, a machine where you take your cards out on the metro, on the subway station. You know, those vending machines where you put money in and then you get your ticket um, to go on the train or go in the subway. Ah, Star Trek, yes. And this mother with her son were poking um, underneath the, the, the vending machine with a stick. And I was thinking, what on earth are they going to do? Do they want money? Does the machine break or something? And then they run away. And you know what happened? Hundreds of big spiders came out underneath uh, that machine. It was so disgusting. It's giving me goosebumps now Why I'm telling you this. Oh, E.T. That Star Trek. Yeah. Beam me up Star Trek. Okay. It's not E.T. But the disgusting, it was a disgusting woo, spider story in between. Good for Halloween. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to talk about spiders anymore. Okay. Um, okay. You cut, die cut the, the plain letters. Oh, you know what? I'm trying to make uh, a word. Let's see what we have got here. Uh, these are all leftovers, so maybe I can make a short word. Oh, no, I'm not sure if there's anything. Go, go. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. Yuck, yuck. <laughs> I need a clinkertje. Uh, yuck. It needs to be something in English, of course. Okay, the word job. Okay, I'm going to do the word job. Jump, 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 jump. Yeah. It's only three letters, but it's enough to show you how you can use them. Putting them aside. I'm going to do a little bit distress inked. Let me see what color have we got. 
Hmm. Well, <laughs> let's go crazy with my frayed burlap again. I'm sorry. Nothing original, but it's the only one I see at the moment. Mm. Okay. We're going for this one. Scrabble. Okay. Just distressing them a little bit. And trying to read <laughs> um, your comments, of course. Florina. Oh, Hurricane Ian. Where is that one? Florina? David, doesn't he like spiders? Oh, I'm going to look it up, see if I can find it again. Okay. Um, now I need to glue them down on something. Hmm. I didn't think of preparing this, so let me get something. A little card or... Oh, here. Here's a little piece. I don't have an extra file folder, do I? Wait a minute. No, no, no. Okay, I'm going to use this tag. Okay, now you see, um, no, I need to do something else. I'm going to put uh, something behind the letters first. So I'm removing the inner part, so the B, and then you are going to stick down. I already put some double-sided adhesive at the back of these uh, letters. I'm going to stick this one down at the solid piece which I also cut. And then, you have to be a little bit precise, I'm taking out the inner parts of the letter B. And the best way to do it is use a tweezers. Use your tweezers. You don't need to do this, but I think it's more obvious which letter it is if you, uh, if you do it this way. Oh, Katie, thank you. Yes, you... Please think of uh, using tape when you are die cutting those. You can do it with glue, but it makes your life uh, a little bit easier when you are um, using tape before you glue them down. Okay, here's the letter O, doing the same. Here we go. And you see how easy they work? And again, I'm just taking out the inner part of the letter O and I'm putting this back in here. Job. And the letter J can go here. Oh, I'm going to put this one back on there. And here you see, here you can have a cute word already. Now, on those um, um, elements, you see a small line over here. And I did that because now it's easier for you to see the same distance when gluing it behind something. So if you want to, for example, put it behind this tag, you know exactly where you can glue it if you are following this line. You can also put them on the top of a page if you think that's funny or maybe uh, give this another color with a marker maybe so it works like this i will glue them down so you can see what happens anneke are you going uh, were the states uitgegooid okay just gluing them down like this Let me see. There's a little bit of a thingy over here. No, okay, it's gone. Here's one more. And so this is makes it very easy for you to um, yeah to glue them down.
Thanks so much, Susan. Okay. Here we go. So now, uh, for this one, I use them on the right side of this tag. And of course, um, these elements you can also use. Eh? I'm going to... Eh? <laughs> I'm doing this just for fun to show you that you can also use the letters um, which fall out. So here we can go. There's another one. So nothing is being thrown away. Hi Mary, are you okay from in Florida? Okay, so you see, these are the leftover parts from these letters, and you can use those again. And that's what I did over here. I kept them because I didn't use them all, and they are in here. Just kept them in a little bag. Oh. So these are the alphabet dies, but now you can see I use them on the right side of this tag. You can also use them on the other side. Um, and in a way, I didn't even think of it uh, before, uh, Marjolein told me, <laughs> so um, she figured it out before I did. Let me see if I can make something else. Mm. Now, job 38. Okay, I'm going to use two numbers. Who cares what it is? <laughs> it's only for me to show you... Um, what it looks like. Uh, from this side, uh, what I would do now is fold it on the line and then you can glue it down like this, you see? So you can use it on the right side of a page or on a picture or whatever. And if you want to use it on the other side, you just have to fold it. Um, what I wouldn't do is uh, cover up the complete back uh, with one of the solid pieces. I'm going to show you what happens if you do so. Job 38. I'm going to glue this one down because I don't need it. If you are gluing this one at a solid piece, it's going to be very thick uh, because you want to fold it. So I would suggest you take a pair of scissors. Let me see where are those. Yeah. And cut off a little piece of one side so you don't have to fold that part. And you only glue down, I hope I didn't cut it too small, Yeah, at the back of the number itself. Oh. It's always a little bit hard to do things like this because I want to be in front of the camera and I also need to see it myself. Okay, like this. So you are gluing it down only behind uh, the number itself or the letter and then it's easier for you to fold this part. Oh, now it glues down. <laughs> Okay, but then you need to have a little bit extra glue and you can do something like this. Oh, I forgot to distress this one, but who cares? It's just to give you an idea how you can do things and how you can use it on the other side of uh, a page or a picture. Yes, that's also possible. Or you can also do uh, another color inside here if you want. Uh, now it's a little bit, uh, how do you say? Um, because the black is underneath uh, the, uh, the manila file folder, then the manila colored paper. But if you want it to be on the same level, you can also glue another color uh, back in. For, for example, a red, let's say you want to have a one red O glue in a, a piece of a red O. So you can play around with them. Oh, this is not a good one. To, oh, I'm going to give it a try. The eight, I'm going to trim something off. Let me see. Put it in the back, I'm not sure. It looks a little bit too large. Let me see. No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> hey, David, how are you? <laughs> You're late. Oh, Elsa's having dinner. Elsa didn't even see you. But Elsa's only watching without sound because she's having dinner. I believe. David, I just told a story about horrible spiders. 
I saw uh, something on, on um, Instagram this morning. Esther, you can make, oh, I can make you tips. Yes, 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 I can do so. <laughs> okay, 38 for today. My age, ah, lol, <laughs> I wish I would. Let me see. No, I'm trying not to make it a really messy thing now <laughs> because I'm, oh no. You weren't there. Someone told me that you don't like spiders, David, and I didn't know. I'm sorry, I, I messed a bit too much here with the clue, but it's just um, a sample. <laughs> Trying to get out those little tiny parts of number eight and gluing them back in again. Let me see. Here we go. Oh, this one doesn't stick. I think <laughs> the backing paper is still on there. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. So you can see you can use them on both sides um, <coughs> of your page or project. Okay. Let me see, Karen, when can, where can we buy them? <clears throat> you can buy them at any craft store, um, your favorite craft store. Ask around, and I think there are some retailers over here too, so maybe they can, they can answer you. Yes, 38 with shipping and handling, Angelique. <laughs> okay, David, I'm going to look for that video and going to send it to you, but I'm afraid I can't find it anymore, so you are lucky. <laughs> It was disgusting. <laughs> oh, Patricia! It was Patricia, David. <laughs> oh, he doesn't. He doesn't hear it. He doesn't see it. Okay. Um. Well, I think that was it for today. What time is it? I've got some time left. How is that possible? And I've showed you everything. Oh, and my glue is getting messy. No. Shut it down. Okay. Else you are listening, probably. <laughs> the eight, oh, the eight, okay, it's gone. Well, this is just a sample. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not sure. I think the eight is already gone to the trash, trash, trash bin, bin trash. Okay. I'm going to show you everything once more. Is that a good idea? And try if I can make Italy for else. Oh, shall I? Maybe it's there. But I don't think. I've got all the letters for the word Italy. Let me see. It should be fun if it is. Italy. No, 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 no. The L in the... Oh, the letter L. Guys, is it here? No, no, no. That's a seven. No. No Italy for else. I love... No, I have to die cut those, so I can't make it now. Okay, I'm going to show you everything one more time. And then, um, well, I think you've got lots of ideas, lots of inspiration now. And I can't wait to see what you are all going to uh, make with it. So I'm starting uh, from the back. The file folder, the tabs, uh, with the letters of the alphabet. And before, that's this set, as you can see. Complete alphabet with numbers. Also has some special signs like uh, at, a little heart, a question mark, hashtag, and the ampersand again. The stamp sets, of course. Here they are again. The library pocket cards. So the four ones over here. With all those little elements like the arrow over here. I'm not sure if I've got the other elements separately. Um, four cards, of course, with different stamps. But then some fun quotes. 
the crayons which you can color any way you like um, ink bottle brushes tickets uh, files <laughs> and here of course um, the file folders itself and of course you can use them uh, this way like portrait and you can use the file folders horizontally <laughs> Uh, on a page, Sylvia, I think they are too big for a page. Maybe you can use the smaller ones uh, like this. You can use them on a page, but the other way, on the, otherwise they should be standing. So like portrait modes, no landscape. Uh, let me see. Yes, it's too big, I think. I am going to try. <laughs> now, you see, this one is way too big to use uh, in a landscape mode and where is the small one it's gone it's gone it's gone let me see there is so many things laying around now <laughs> no where is it yeah the small one yeah you can use the small one uh, on a page yeah that one will fit i hope you can see it Sylvia. i'm trying to look for <laughs> uh, oh, this one here you can see it a little bit better this one will fit uh, a page like this. So you can put two on top of each other. How fun would that be? You see, like this. Huh. So this is the small one. Um, it goes into the sidekick like this, but you can also use it here uh, in the full size planner. So that's a good thing uh, to ask. Are there any more questions? Let me see. This is the... Um, the label holder and the library pocket. There's another one somewhere. Oh yeah, it was glued down on this one, the library pocket. So here they are. And this is the full size planner page uh, with the slots, uh, also with tabs and the cards in it. So that was it for today. Uh, some leaves, decorative elements. So a lot of fun uh, stuff um, to play with. Like the heart upside down. A base page for a sidekick. Simona, what do you mean? A base page for a sidekick size. I have no idea what you mean, Simona, but I think I will see you in, in, in the weekend. So you can ask me again. <laughs> oh, Belinda, your head is swimming with ideas. Thanks so much. Yeah, we can buy time. Oh, I wish we could. That would be great. No, no, no more new releases from me this year. I'm not sure what else is planning uh, with other releases, but um, for the planner, ah, no, 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 maybe a little one, maybe a little one. A few things, a few fun things later. <laughs> yes, David, I've got my walking shoes ready. I bought new boots yesterday, by the way, so <laughs> maybe I can put those on. If I'm not able to ride with you, that's because of the spiders probably, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, guys, boys and girls. Um, it was very, one, very fun having you here. Seriously, seriously. <laughs> Let me see. Walking shoes. Oh, no. It's good. Now, now we're going to talk <laughs> a lot of nonsense. Um, thank you so much for all, all of you for watching me, for joining me and on this live um it was very exciting for me because i had no idea will, will the people like it won't they like it but um as i see your comments i think you'll all like it oh the reinforcements they will be later probably also this year thank you yona thank you <coughs> thank you ina <coughs> sorry oh the sidekick pocket pages yes they are coming soon I think there are some samples coming my way, so... <laughs> oh, Simone, next time, next time. We can't do anything at the same time. So this one I will definitely also make for the sidekick, if that's what you mean. Yes, it's a, oh, what? I think it's already done, but it's not released yet. It's coming, it's coming. Okay, um, now, okay, I'm going to say goodbye to all of you now. Uh, thank you so much again for watching. Oh, please uh, join us on Friday when we'll we be doing a live together with David and some other members of our design team live from the hotel in, uh, in Spijkenissen in Holland. 
Okay, I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching again and bye-bye. Uh,